three groups have already gone through the head-to-head -head challenge, and today we welcome the fourth and give them a chance to show the world exactly who they are here at the Mangrove Tree Resort World in Sanya Bay. Welcome to episode four of the Miss World Head-to-Head -head Challenge. Today we have Philippines, Hi. Equatorial Guinea, Hi. Iceland, Senegal, Hi. <laughs> Norway, Hello. and Guyana. Hello. <laughs> Now, ladies, did you watch last year's Head to Head Challenge? Are you prepared? Yes, yes we did. Uh, <laughs> I think I tried my best to be as prepared as I can, but we never know. <laughs> well, perfect, because prepared or not prepared, it's, it's time to begin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Here's how things will work. We'll start off with a video presentation that you have all prepared, and then we will ask the final question. And viewers will be allowed to vote, and we'll explain that a little bit later. It's time to meet our first contestant. She comes from the Philippines. My name is Katerina Rodriguez, Miss World Philippines 2018. I was born a farm girl, growing up playing in the vast fields of my province, Davao, where I'd climb trees, ride the horses, and carabaos. However, I have a tropical state of mind. As an island girl, I thrive near the ocean, surfing, swimming, and running along the shorelines. Living with my paternal grandparents has played a huge influence in my life. My grandfather has taught me strength the feeling of ambition, and the conscious awareness of passion. And if my grandfather has shaped my mind, then my grandmother has molded my heart. She's the imagination, the creativity, all things colorful, sparking my love for reading and drawing, teaching me that in the long term, the books I read are far more important than the man I marry. This opportunity to represent my beloved country in the Miss World pageant is the adventure of a lifetime. I cannot wait to meet the other candidates in China and to expand the potentials of the Philippines to the rest of the world. Philippines, tell us some more about your love for your grandparents. My grandparents are my heart. They're my, they are my world. I've been living with them for the past few years. These are my paternal grandparents. and. They're very eccentric people, so they've been married for over 50 years, but they're the only couple I've ever seen fight while holding hands at the same time. They cannot stand each other, but you know, like my grandfather, if he's holding a chair open for my grandmother, he'll pinch her butt as she sits down. They're really funny. And they're people of this world. They've lived such full lives, maybe like enough for th to fill three lifetimes. Um, but we have a very great bond, my grandparents and I, and. Um, you know, one thing when you do pageants, you sacrifice a lot of stuff, like whether it be time with your friends or, you know, going to parties, going out, maybe it might be education. So I think the thing that affects me most is that I have to sacrifice my time spending with them. Um, every day they teach me so much and they're so supportive of me, but about a few months ago my grandfather had a stroke, he had a mild stroke, and that's when I realized how short life is. And um, I do get emotional about it because he's such a strong man. And up until a few years ago, he would run with me. We'd go jogging on the treadmill outside. And when he had his stroke, I thought, OK, there's a time that I have to spend with them. And at 26 years old, this is my peak in life and my, my career. So it's do I spend time with my grandparents or do I excel um, in what I'm doing? And I know he wants me to excel in what I'm doing. So. Um, I love him that much that he tells me, you know, go do what you want to do, regardless if I want to eat chocolates with him or play chess with him. And I'm lactose intolerant, but he likes eating chocolates with me <laughs> and ice cream, so I do that with him. Thank you, Philippines. That's very sweet. I think we have to say hello to your grandparents. Hi, <laughs> Momsy and Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. And finally, we have Philippines. What would you tell the world about Sanya? Sanya, beautiful city, beautiful people. Um, I would definitely have to share that this is the first time, and I've been to many places in the world, that I've wanted to name my daughter after a city. So I'm Katerina Sonia, S-O-N-J-A, and then we have Sonia. And the reason why is because it's the first time that I've met uh, people who are so curious, who are so interested in what's going on. They're very kind people, they're very, they, they want to know what's happening, like who are these girls, what's going on. And it's also the first time that I've been to a tropical place where I can wear a pantsuit. So it's very diverse. 
Um, you know, you have the malls and then you have the beach. And I look out my window from the hotel and I see the linings of the mountain and the sun rising and it's just absolutely gorgeous. And I thought, you know, there's just so much here where it's not just the tropics. It's not um, just the city. It's not what you would think China to be like. It's my first time to be in China. And I feel like there's a lot to explore. So I've already had this type of connection to the people and to to the city and they say that Sanya is the Hawaii of China. So I would like to share with the world that Sanya is actually not the uh, Hawaii of China, but the Sanya of the world. <laughs> Thank you so much, Philippines. And congratulations, you did it. The final question is done. And if I may summarize, I think you guys are saying, come visit Sanya. Yes, yes. <laughs> totally. Perfect, well, there you have it. Come visit Sanya as soon as you've watched this episode of the Head to Head Challenge. As you know, the viewers get to vote for which one of you will move on to the second round, and this is how you do it. You can vote for the contestants on their official Miss World Facebook pages, follow and like their content on Mobstar, vote for them on the Miss World website, or in China on Model Power Live. Here from the Mangrove Tree Resort world in Sanya Bay, China, this is the Head to Head Challenge, and goodbye. Mm -hmm.